Hi, my name is Timo Pries, aka Gravity Terminal, and I'm down at Pyramine today. They've asked me to come in and talk about what I like about Push. I like a lot of things about Push, but one of the things that Live9 brings to the table and Push as a controller is the session automation, which they didn't have in previous versions of Live. And what that means is that you're able to record your movements of your controllers, modulation of your effects, all into a clip now, rather than having to record that into the uh, arrangement view and then copy that stuff over. It was a bit tedious. So this function has me really excited because uh, with my current setup, I try to do things where I have a somewhat loop-based setup with my clips. Uh, I can go in and demonstrate some of this where I have a four bar loop and that gets very static over time. You keep that rolling, rolling, rolling. It just sounds like a loop. But if you add modulation to that, then you can diversify what's happening within that time frame. So with this new session automation function, I can do that on the fly during a performance while I'm writing and be able to capture that as automation data within the clip in the session view itself. So let me give you a little demo. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit play. Launch a few clips here. So now I go into my next section. And this is kind of a breakdown section for me. And what I like to do here is kind of diversify my drums. So I may do something where I add some beat repeats to give me some different divisions. And I have that linked to a beat repeat effect. Or I could do something like change the pitch of my kick. I can even change the kick itself using a kick selector. Get that kind of drum and bass 808 type sound. So that's fun to do on the fly, but what happens if I want to record those movements? It's very, very simple with the push and with Live 9. Essentially what we're looking at is the record button, and this will drop me into record. There's one preference that we need to talk about really quickly though, uh, that I like to have set. If we go to our preferences and we go to the record warp and launch section here, uh, I go to the record session automation in, and I have the choice to select between arm tracks or in all tracks. So if you have arm tracks selected, this record automation will only happen for the tracks that you have armed. I prefer to use the all tracks, but it just means that I need to be a little bit more careful to make sure that I end up turning the record function off actually after I do some movements, or I'll keep recording onto you know, whatever I touch after that. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that up for all tracks, and then I'm gonna go ahead and record that modulation that I was talking about. So we'll go ahead and hit play. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it into record. And you notice up here at the top, you get the session record button, and that lights up to let you know that you're actually recording. And on the push, you also get a halo around the record button to let you know that you are actually recording. So now anything that I turn, twist, or move gets written in. And you can see that reflected in the clip data itself for the envelope. So there's my kick selector. Let's go ahead and play around with the pitch. And if there's anything that I don't like about that, I can hit undo on the push, and that'll take me back, just as if I was hitting undo from the edit menu. So if I go out of record mode by hitting the record session record button again, uh, that takes me out of record, and then I can make various movements without having those being recorded to the clip itself. So for example, if I turn the kick selector now, you notice that the envelope turns gray, indicating that I'm no longer following the envelope data. I've overridden that. You can also see up here, this button, which is called the re-enable automation button, lights up. So there's several ways to reset this. I can either click on 
the re-enable automation button and that'll take me back into the clip. But if I'm in a performance situation, I probably don't wanna reach over and touch my computer. So what I can do is once I override that, I can simply re-trigger the clip again. Once I re-trigger the clip, the online automation comes back again and I don't need to actually hit the re-enable button for that. So obviously there's lots of uses for this. Um, I can go ahead and create new parts on the fly. I can record those parts. I can overdub different effect modulation and I can diversify as I move through the project. The second thing that I'm able to do is write notes with the record button. I can jump over to an instrument track, for example, hit track, go to instrument and select note. Now I'm in note view for my particular instrument. I have a synth patch. So I've already created the clips because I like to have them set to a specific set of bars. So I've done an eight bar loop here and I'm just gonna record into that eight bar loop. You don't have to have it set up previously. Uh, you can do it on the fly. I just prefer to have preset lengths and have everything delineated so I know what I'm going to do. So at this point in time, I can hit play and I can start to jam out a lead pattern on top of this. When I want to record that idea, I jump in. Once again, if there's a part of that that I don't like, I can always hit undo and jump back in and start the idea again. Once I'm done with that idea, I can get out of record. Now I could play on top of that without actually recording. So if I wanted to go up an octave and maybe add some additional parts to that. So if I wanted to record over that, I could just hit record again. And now I'm in overdub mode. I can also record my device modulation as well. So if I went to the device tab, I could select for my instrument. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull up a rack that I've designed. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my synth rack. And now I can bring in, for example, kind of a chorus sound and modulate between how much chorus So if I hit the record button again, I'm not overwriting the notes that I wrote, I'm just adding the automation data to it. Now I'm jumping back between controlling two parameters simultaneously, still allows me to do that. So as you can see, the ability to record automation data into clips is a very powerful function. And with the push controller, it allows you to have hands-on control at any point in time without touching your computer. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Timo Priest, AKA Gravity Terminal. If you'd like to know more about what I do, you can check out gravityterminal.com. very much like to thank Pyramid for hosting me here once again. Um, I think this institution is really cool and until I came here for the first time I had never seen anything like it in my whole life. What I think really separates us from other people who teach is that we are outrageously passionate about what we do and especially in electronic music. Since, since coming to Pyramid I, I've discovered electronic music and you know San Francisco being a mecca for underground electronic music opened up so many doors for me and kind of blew my mind. We cover everything from absinthe to contact. When people get to the mind-melting level, uh, we get into modular synthesis. Everything about native instruments, everything about logic synths, down to the, the finest detail. 
we, we learned it all. The fundamentals of understanding how things work, that's just essential. But then beyond that, there's so much more, and that's where it gets into just a lot of, of the artistic side of like, the creative approach of, of why you do something, not just how. There's a lot of schools that just, you know, they focus on the technicality of, of recording music, um, but I wanted something that would foster creativity and, and really help me develop as an artist as well. Each of our genre-specific programs comes in four levels. There's a basic, an advanced, a professional, and then a master's level. And the master's level is, of course, everything we do. It's the largest and most powerful programs that we can create for you.